Gdush. I proposed a contract with the American voter. It's a set of promises for what I'll do in my first 100 days. The account's first cover photo is actually a shot from President Obama's inauguration in 2009. The president is in a white rage about suggestions that the crowds for him weren't as big as they were for Barack Obama. Look how far this is. This goes all the way down here, all the way down. But when you look at this tremendous sea of love, I call it a sea of love. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. Multi-platinum recording artist, Three Doors Down. We have put together a team, I think the likes of which has never been assembled before. He has nearly 2,000 jobs in his administration that he's yet to fill. Michael Flynn in a firestorm of criticism. Ben Carson got stuck in an elevator. She is the least qualified nominee in a historically unqualified cabinet. I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. <laughs> Ms. DeVos didn't know the difference between two basic theories of testing. There's the growth they're making is in growth. The proficiency is if an arbitrary reached, standard. If they've reached a level, the proficiency is if they've reached a, a like third grade level for reading, etc. President Trump's top advisors are said to be at odds. Donald Trump's cabinet is mostly male and white, the least diverse cabinet since Ronald Reagan. Well, well I would. Caucus. I tell you what, do you want well to set up the meeting? Do you want to set up the meeting? No, no, no. I'm, are they I'm, friends I'm, of I'm yours? Just a reporter. No, get a, set up the I'm meeting. No. It's Sarah Palin and rockers Ted Nugent and Kid Rock posed in front of the portrait of former First Lady Hillary Clinton. Pence's rule of never eating alone with a woman who is not his wife. Good idea? I'm not firing Sean Spicer. The guy gets great ratings. Everyone tunes in. And the goal for the United States is twofold. As I've stated, it's one, to make sure that we destabilize Syria. Um, it's Hitler, who didn't even sink to the, to the, to using chemical weapons. Graham's upside down. John Roberts always helping with the fashion check. It's still upside down. He has no conflicts. By law, he can't have conflicts. Go Thank buy you. Ivanka's stuff is what I would say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, get, I hate shopping. I'm gonna go get some on myself today. A uh, State Department website uh, got a lot of attention today for plugging the president's Mar-a-Lago resort. Trump is famous for his long-lasting, very firm handshake. <laughs> Okay. What are they? <laughs> Please look at me. Ah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Press. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> ranting and raving. I'm just telling you, you know, you're dishonest people. Steve Bannon labels the media the opposition party, saying the press should keep its mouth shut. At some point, the facts are what they are. Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. The Bowling Green massacre that Conway mentioned never happened. I'm reminded of that proverb. I've heard it for many, many years, and I love it. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden! Who would believe this? Sweden! I guess it was the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. President Obama got 365 in 2008. Well, I'm talking about Republican. George H.W. Bush, 426. So why should Americans trust well, you no, I was when you're I was misrepresenting given information? information? I, was, I was just given. His own daughter, Tiffany Trump, <laughs> is registered in two states. Wiretapping, I guess, by, you know, this past administration, at least we have something in common, perhaps. <laughs> Trust me, I'm like a smart person. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Our first Republican president, Abraham Lincoln. Most people don't even know he was a Republican, right? Does anyone know? But we just can't make mistakes, right? So we don't make mistakes. Go ahead, Ken. Um. Chuck Canterbury, the national president of Fraternal Order of Police from South We've just launched 59 missiles heading to Iraq. Well, you so. headed to Syria? Yes, heading toward Syria. My thanks go to Speaker Ryan. Yes, and I said, Ron, make sure these countries 
start paying their bills a little bit more. You know, they're way, way behind, Ron. We have to do, I'm going to talk to you about that, Ron. But Paul, you're over with NATO, get them to pay their bills. I think that, and Ron, you have to work on that too. Trump tweeted from his private account that he was honored to serve as president. The word honored was misspelled. Two, as in T-O, instead of the adverb spelled T-O-O. Cameras captured her nudging President Trump during the national anthem, the moment prompting a lot of response. President Trump lambasted the leader of Australia before asserting this was the worst call by far and abruptly hanging up the phone. Mean-spirited and un-American. Chuck Schumer yesterday with fake tears. I'm going to ask him who is his acting coach. And they hired a big, big movie star, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to take my place. The ratings went right down the tubes. And I want to just pray for Arnold, if we can, for those ratings, okay? It's Trump's weekends at Mar-a-Lago, costing taxpayers millions, while Camp David sits deserted. Because I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf and believe me. President Trump for the birdie. O'Reilly and Fox News have paid out $13 million to settle claims of sexual harassment Trump just told the New York Times. I don't think Bill did anything wrong. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. We got a lot of killers. President Trump made a lot of big promises for his first 100 days, but... The GOP's health care bill, dead on arrival. Nobody knew that health care could be so complicated. The office is called Voice, Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. I think it's probably one of the most compassionate things we can do to actually tell you, you, you're, you're, the elderly you're only folks. The key provisions of this have been essentially put on hold. This makes it as if the order was never signed. This is more work than in my previous life. I thought it would be easier. 